Hey guys and girls, I'm Linksod123 and welcome to a very special video. In today's video we are going to play Ocarina of Time for the N64, like the 21 millionth time on this channel. But, in today's video it's going to have a little twist in it, because you might realize that the textures looks a little bit different. And yeah, that's totally right. Because the game is now in high definition, that means high resolution textures like 4K, uh, Full HD, whatever you want to call it. It's not 4K, but nearly. And the game is also running 60 frames. I can't wait to show you guys and girls how the game looks with all these new remastered textures in it. So let's start the gameplay and let's explore the game, right? To talk about the, the reason why I make this video is, you can clearly see on Ganon's castle, for example, my Highland shield, and also just the resolution of the game, it's amazing. It looks so great to run around in this nostalgic game and just relive the whole history of Ocarina of Time in a, in a whole other dimension, right? So, also the 60 frames makes it look just like a remastered version for the 3DS or maybe even Wii U, so that's pretty nice too. Um, also to talk about um, my in-game HUD here, it looks a little bit different. And also it's grey instead of uh, uh, yellow and blue and green like uh, it's normal, It's it, like it is in the original version. The reason why it is like this is because I made a, a game shark code for the game for the 1.0, the American version, that should try to remake the in-game HUD for the Twilight Princess version, uh, not the Twilight Princess version, but the Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii U, and also the Wii and GameCube, but this should probably uh, fit for the Wii mostly, because it is like a Wii remote. Even though I think this fits perfectly for... Um oh what are happening to these faces they are totally red okay these looks like a creepy t kind of shit even though uh, just to finish the talk about the in-game HUD it looks just like a new thing right it is also different but I think it gives a great feeling for the game but that's basically the whole reason why I changed it also all of the icons in the game is also changed just take a look in my start menu here okay a little glitch they are changed into uh, the 3DS version, so all the icons should be pretty complete. I can't find anything that sh looks like uh, the original version. They are a great resolution. I don't even know the resolution, but I, I will shoot it is maybe 64 times 64, maybe. But it looks great, even though I can't see Link here, a little textured glitch over there. But it doesn't matter really, because it's not what uh, the texture pack should do, I think it's something with the whole graphic plugin. But let's try to take a little sightseeing around Hyrule and yeah, just take a look on the different areas. So the first area is going to be Kakariko Village, just a little fast sightseeing around the whole village here. It looks amazing guys and girls. I can't describe the feeling about this whole remastered version and actually it is the original version for the N64. I can't believe it is so possible to change the game so much really. It is amazing how modding is actually uh, been taken seriously in these uh, in these areas. It looks really amazing. Even Navi is some kind of cool this time. Uh, even though I don't know why it says the great Deco tree summoned you because it just it just no just take a look at my bow here it got some great wooden textures it is slightly slightly amazing also the windmill really really nice really um it is actually also changed my shield here the mirror shield it is um it's it is like the original version uh, with the moon and stuff just like uh, the islamic uh, version the islamic flag i think it is i won't be uh, i i don't have any kind of knowledge about that but it is just more 
in a higher resolution, if I can call it that. It looks really amazing. Just take a look on Link. We haven't been looking at him uh, yet. It looks really amazing, guys. Wow. Just take a look at the sword, too. It is... It's really great. It looks so awesome. And that, uh, the quiver, I think it's pronounced like that. It looks really great. That's, that's high resolution there. It is high resolution. Holy crap. So let's try to run around here at the graveyard. Just to take a look on the different things. We got a Poe here. Looks slightly cool. Also the lantern. That's, that's also really high resolution. It fits perfectly because the lantern actually looks like a lantern. Let's try to uh, activate this cutscene. It's one of my favorite cutscenes in the whole game because it just it it is so awesome, right? You see Link, you see a lot of a lot of lightning going on and it just looks so awesome. Take a look on it. Whoa. Also the trees right here in the background. It looks slightly cool even though they are pretty pretty simple made. It's it's just like a pasted texture. But still, it fits perfectly for the game. Whoa. Boom! No. Boom! And now we got an open passage for the royal tomb. But I won't uh, enter this tomb because we got a lot to see in this episode of uh, Ocarina of Time Remastered. Or whatever I can call it. I don't know if I should make more videos about this. Maybe. Maybe in the future. But let's try to um, let's try to teleport to the next area. <whistles> so we ended up at the Death Mountain, and uh, if you're trying to make your way up uphill this mountain, if I can call it that, then you will see some huge improvements, especially at the rocks and stuff. You can see all of the great designs here. It looks like a rock. It is slightly damaged, but uh, I won't complain about that. Even though, also these uh, cool rolling rocks, like in Indiana Jones, they, for one time, they look pretty cool, even though they're trying to kill you. But, no complaining about that, right? I think, if we are trying to uh, place a bomb here, also retextured, we will see a gold skull Cholula, which isn't... That changed. I think it is changed, but it doesn't look that changed. But it's pretty cool, even though. I just get one for the collection. Let's try to go uphill, maybe at the Goron City. The Goron City might be a, a, a sure winner, because the Goron City is just a great place. We also got a lot of rock textures uh, going on in there. So, uh, let's try to teleport once again. That's a pretty cool feature. Boom! We ended up in the Goron City, which is uh, a slightly improved version. I just flies around here. I don't know. That's a bit of a cheating method there. But try to take a look there. It looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we got some glitches going on there, like when the texture stops and then it starts again, but Seriously, no complaining about this texture. It is, it's really something to uh, to be impressed about. Really, let's try to take a look on the Gorons. They should be changed too. But okay, that's that's something different. It looks like they should be more high resolution, like like the arms here and also on the shield on the back. But here it's like a really stretched texture. Also, the eyes are so high resolution that my computer can't barely see it. That's pretty. That's pretty impressive for an N64 game. I always love that song. I have always never opened that damn door. Holy crap! So we need to uh, go to the Death Mountain Crater, but we got no possible way. So we need to teleport once again. Seriously, that's. It's going to be a hard time here. Okay, God, I just uh, teleported a bit high. So, but we ended up at uh, the Death Mountain Crater, and my computer lags for once while I play on an emulator. That's uh, 
that's pretty pretty weird a pretty new thing for me even though to take a look around in the death mountain crater it's more like rocky blocks like rock textures it's not that red as I expected uh, just like in the original version that looks slightly cool actually for sure it looks more like a volcano this time but um, I don't know I miss the red textures though in some kind in some kind of way but even though it looks really really amazing let's try to go into uh, the great fairy fountain here because that's actually something that I can wait to see maybe okay it's not that impressive but it is really flawless it looks really really awesome with all these dripping textures whatever I can call it it looks really really great in some way but it is slightly simple even though even though the textures right here at the Triforce uh, and stuff it looks slightly great slightly great let's try to uh, summon the great fairy because maybe she's she is more sexy than in the, the original version let's hope so okay I can't wait to see her no no for God's sake I don't know even what is she trying to say what is are you trying to say come on okay you're just trying to heal me in some way Ooh. that is teleport skills <whistles> seriously guys and girls I love that teleport thing or just levitation code as a game shot code but I th I think it's pretty cool so I think I will teleport f outside from this uh, fairy fountain and then I will probably teleport to a whole another place. See you in a second. <coughs> Boom, we ended up at Sora's domain. I thought this place would be slightly, slightly cool. Uh, maybe cooler than it is right now because I actually got a little bit of a uh, depressed when I looked at this place. Even though I got amazed by these rocky mountains, if I can call it that, without uh, any any problems. But um, also the trees over there look slightly cool. They are pretty, uh, pretty, what can I call it? Pretty each looking. They look pretty much like the same. Um, but uh, actually this area is slightly cool. We also got the secret area up there. And all in all it is... It's fine. It's great looking, but um, I don't know. Maybe I just expected way too much. Anyways, I really want to go out over to the ice cavern, but really I don't even want to touch all of that ice. So uh, give me two seconds. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, that is basically my teleporting skills once again. It is pretty cool to teleport with all of these high resolution textures and 60 frames. Really, this game is really pushed to the limit. And also the ice cavern is literally pushed to the end. There is nothing I can complain about right here. Look at these ice textures. I know they are pretty spiky, but that's more like the actual 3D model. We can change that. But this, that looks really, really cool. I have nothing to complain about here. Just take a look on, for example, these roots. We are these roads. These, these uh, weird. Uh, what, what the fuck can I call it? These rooms we are running around in. Let's just call it that. It looks so detailed, even though it is a really old game, and the textures are pretty simple. But without complaining too much. And without giving too much of good things to say, it is just my favorite place, my favorite dungeon, mini dungeon, if I can call it that. So for sure, there's more to uh, say uh, about this um, dungeon than in the others. I just thought that this place is so great looking because of all these blue textures. It looks like some kind of a sky temple, maybe, if I can call it that. Another theory just made up there. No. Anyways, just to be fair, it looks really amazing. Just take a look on these icy diamond things here. It looks really great. 
And just all of these rocks in there. Really mysterious place. Okay, we got a lot of black textures over there. Boom. The game glitched up a little bit. But it's fine. Because I just got totally, totally silent for just one second. Because this room, it looks amazing. Just take a look on every kind of texture around it. It looks so beautiful. Just take a look on the walls here, the texture of ice around the door, even the iron bars on the door looks pretty flawless. And oh my god, a cinematic scene. Okay, we, we can also take a closer look on Link here. He looks pretty fine, looks really fine uh, with the two colored gloves here. That is, that's amazing. That is really, really amazing. But, to be fair, this room could be much cooler if we got some uh, great fairy uh, animations on the walls. But, um, I don't think the game is made like that. So, it's probably the reason why the texture pack doesn't do that. Maybe, I don't even remember. Also, take a look on the Sheik here. She looks hot. She looks cool. She looks nice and she looks fine. Just take a look at that face. Woo! But it is maybe just me, but the the she could be more detailed on the blue parts of her uh, bodysuit there. Maybe she could have some kind of a, a glow, maybe some kind of a two colored blue instead of these simple textures. But even though I don't even want to complain because even though we got some few fails, maybe just in my head. This texture pack is amazing. Just take a look at this cinematic cutscene. It looks beautiful. It's more beautiful than anything else. Even more than your girlfriend and my girlfriend. Even more than Donald Trump's wife. Um, I think. I think. So, let's uh, finish up this cutscene with this great text box. Great Text box. Woohoo! Please go away, Sheik. Poo! So, we are back. And uh, where are we? Oh, we are up here. And I hate that sound of the mini boss because. Oh, for God's sake, I still got the iron boots on. Let's just change that in a second. For God's sake, where are you, damn wolf? Boom. A really easy mini boss, really, really easy. <laughs> and we just uh, summoned the chest containing the iron boots. We all know what's going to be inside. That's right, the iron boots. I just said it, so I won't open it. But another thing I will do is uh, to teleport once again. Boom, we ended up at Hyrule Field as Young Link. Just take a look at his shield. That is impressive! I also got another feature as Young Link. If you're scared of uh, this enemy, for example, just press A and then like this. You can run around Hyrule Field at no time because you're scared of enemies. I know this is not a part of the whole texture pack, but it is... Slightly cool to look at a uh, high resolution uh, high roll field, high resolution high roll field uh, in extremely high speed. That's pretty impressive, right? Then I don't think Ocarina of Time could be more effective and more cooler. But let's take. Uh, yeah, let's take another take, really. Boom, we ended up at our childhood, our crib, our main hood. We took the game at its roots, so we ended up at Kokiri Forest. The very first place you ended up as, as Young Link, trying to beat the damn Deco Tree over there, just a huge as bush. And uh, we still got this hyperspeed shit going on, so I can't press A anymore. It's slightly cool, but it can be a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Anyways, let's talk about the whole 
texture pack going on here, it looks fine. We got the humping dude here, he tries to fuck some rocks. Slightly great, but uh, even though with high resolution textures, it gives a great feeling to you when you look at him. So, enough talk about the humping dude there. If you look at the houses here, you can really see some great details. Just take a look at this wooden house here. It looks amazing, just as Young Link wanted his childhood. In a wooden way. What the fuck, that, that makes no sense, that's just weird to say. So if we're going into, inside a house, we won't see any kind of difference, except for the pot here. Because this is a uh, what such called image or a pre-rendered background. That means, you can see here, it's just a picture or a pre-rendered background that Link is running around in. So it's actually not a, a some kind of a model here running around, it's just a pre-rendered background. And I have been saying pre-rendered background way too much in such a few minutes. So. Enough of talk about this house, it's just a picture, so nothing is sadly changed here. It could be pretty cool, but no. So, we are back at the roots, we are back in Kukiri Forest, just to feel the nostalgic, nostal, nostalgia, no, the nostalgia of Ocarina of Time. Just take a look at my shield, it is so amazing! Anyways. Also, Saria is not such an amazing girl anymore because, I don't know, she looks nice, she is retextured, but for fuck's sake. Okay, that ladder was really attractive, and uh, that door is also slightly attractive. Woo! So, we are at our house, our crib. This is our crib, really. So, um, yeah, that is basically it. And I think this texture pack is slightly lit. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. That that rhymed actually. Even though I think... Wow man, after playing this... What can we say about this? There is nothing to complain about. Okay Link, stop being so tired man. At least I'm showing off you. Yeah, you look at, you looks like a happy kid. But your mouth is... Is, is pretty weird. It looks like... It got some kind of a weird ass texture. It's, it's not the same color, for God's sake, Link. But enough talk about everything, because there's not much to say, actually. This is a texture pack for Ocarina of Time. I will probably put a link in the description, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, because it took hell of shit of a time. To make this to work, really, I I used like six nights after work to complete my emulator to play with a high resolution texture pack in this. That's a problem, really. I wasted such a time doing this, but I think it was worth to share it with you guys and girls. So I hope you wanna support a little bit and just throw a like after link his shield, and all of the hours I, I have been working on this, really. So, I see you next time, guys and girls. I hope you want to subscribe to my channel, too, because uh, more subscribers gives more videos such like this. See you next time, guys and girls. Bye! Yeah!